Hello, my name is Caterina Strambio de Castiglia and in this video I'm going to share with you an update about the recent achievements and ongoing activities of the BINA Quality Control and Data Management Working Group, also known as QCDM. As a start, I would like to remind you about the QCDM mission. Our mission is to contribute to North American and global efforts to improve reproducibility, data quality, and data sharing in biological imaging through rigorous record keeping, quality control, and research data management. QCDM is fortunate to count 18 passionate members from all across North America and from other countries. All of these 18 members are not only leaders in their fields, but are also tireless advocates for the importance of quality control and data management as essential tools to empower biomedical and imaging scientists to achieve excellence in their research activities. Now that I've told you about our mission and who we are, I want to highlight some of our ongoing activities. But before doing that, I want to remind you that you can always find a list of links related to QCDM by navigating to our web page and clicking on the resources tab. During the past year, we have worked very hard to advance our mission through a variety of activities. These activities are roughly of three types. The first type of activity is the generation of QC protocols, metadata standards, and tools for QCDM. Like much of our work, these activities are carried out in close partnership with other organizations. For example, in collaboration with Quareb Limi, we help generate QC protocols and microscopy metadata standards and annotation tools. We are also involved with the Metrology Suitcase Program to provide QC tools to interested labs and share QC protocols developed by Quareb Limi. Finally, in collaboration with the ABRF Core Marketplace, we are involved in the development of cyber infrastructure for the persistent identification and citable description of microscope hardware. The second type of activity we are involved in is our outreach work, which we carry out by participating to meetings and workshop, hosting exchange of experience events, and work, working with the training and education working group to organize community conversations on important topics, for example, regarding data management and data sharing. And more recently, launching the automated image management and metadata annotation user group, which I'll tell you more about in one of the subsequent slides. We are also involved in promoting partnership with other like-minded organizations in order to build bridges and synergy to advance our mission. For example, we have visited NIST to identify areas of synergy to improve QC and reproducibility. We are strengthening our ties with ABRF through the participation to the Committee on Core Reporting and Reproducibility. We are networking with FASEP DataWorks to identify ways in which BINA QCDM can be involved in their upcoming help desk. We are members of ISO TAG 276 and being involved in the release of draft standards on cellular morphological analysis. And most recently, we have been involved in a leadership position in promoting and organizing advocacy efforts toward key st stakeholders to promote better awareness of funders and journals on these important topics of quality control and data sharing. Before concluding this presentation, I want to tell you a little bit more about the AIM user group. The AIM user group is a group that meets the first Friday of the month every other month and it has the purpose of bringing together people that want to start doing research data management for their image data and have little or no experience. 
with people that have already started doing some work and have developed some solutions so that we can really help each other tackle this very important and sometimes complicated and daunting task. The next meeting is going to be on October 6th. Please register at this QR code. Thank you for your attention and I hope to meet you in one of our upcoming activities.